Hey darlings, welcome back. Today we are actually doing some back-to-back -back tutorials. So today, this time, we're going to be working on a koozie. This I happen to get from Hog. I'll have the link down below for that. Well, let me show you the cap. So these are the caps that essentially go on these when you're completed. So I never touch this rubber seal at all, okay? And it, obviously when I'm completely done with the cup, we'll make sure everything is cleaned up inside and the paint is removed and there's gonna be no issues with this cap twisting on or off. This can actually hold cans as well as it can hold bottles. Excellent, excellent piece. Check out Hog for those. You can buy them in the case. All right, so today what we're gonna do, customer requested um, a wrap, a full wrap water slide. Now you can clearly see just how short we are. We're a little shorter than I actually like to be, but we're gonna do everything we can to make this happen. And as if you've seen any of my tutorials before, with a size uh, image this large, I like to put it face down into the water and let it sit. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we've met up here at the back, but it keeps slipping just a smidge. So once you have most of your wrinkles out and your air pockets, you essentially wanna start what I call babysitting and drying this up so this encourages it to stop the slip. But for now, here's what we have. Oh, there's an air bubble. So working them out. Now, if I get to a point where I am very satisfied with where my water slide is, then I will take the X-Acto knife when this is ready and it's dry and I will pop the air pockets. The Which more it overlaps, guys, the better. But if you cannot get it to overlap, don't worry about it. Just at least get them touching. Let's just make sure everything on this other side. See, we keep slipping just a hair. But the more it gets ready to dry, the better. And now this one is going to get epoxied again with the purple rain by the glitter sister. It's I'm going to mix it into the epoxy, but again, you want to make sure these are nice and dry before you attempt to epoxy. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. So this is a far cry from my normal water slide size. But since we're going to go at an angle with this, it, it was not required to be large. So I'm Okay. So obviously this is literally 14 ounces and we're going to do half this tumbler. So I mean, for the most part, I can stretch it just a smidge. Width-wise, I am not going to do this. This just doesn't make sense. So I will determine my stretch 
when I get it on the tumbler and then I will cut off the top and the bottom of excess. So face down. Oh, I have a shout out. Okay, early on in my tutorials, I had a Kayla. I cannot pronounce your name, sweetheart. I do not want to destroy it lot publicly, but I'm going to put your name down below. Please watch for that. Um, right where I'm talking, uh, Kayla T asked me about a cameo that I did that was pink. Very, very, very similar to this method a while back. If I could do a tutorial or if I would do a tutorial, here it is. This is the exact same principle, clearly just different um, colors. But I literally just took, it was a 20 ounce that I showed in my Nutcracker tutorial. Just as an example, I wasn't even doing it as a tutorial. It was just an example as to what I have done with water slides. And she asked about it. So let's make sure I want this to be at a at an angle on my cup. Never mind how this looks currently. That's all fixable at this time. I just want to make sure it makes sense on the cut. So if it's kind of like a swirl effect, I'm going to put yellow glitter here. No, I lied. It's not going to be yellow. We changed our minds. It's actually going to be mirror from Glitzy Girl Glitter that's going to go here. And then I'm going to take vinyl and cut strips to go down the sides. So we just want this to make sense and look really, really, really cool. So it's still a little wet, so it's still slipping just a smidge. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this rim. does not have to be perfect right this second because we can take the X-Acto knife and trim that off after the epoxy's on, after it's cured. So currently, let's just make sure all of our bubbles are out and we have a nice smooth surface. Okay, so I think I'm gonna set this off to the side just for a split second. I'm gonna let that continue to dry and I wanna show you how I cut my strips. So I just wanna figure out exactly what size I wanna do. Let me show you something. So, let me see if I can get up underneath there with this, okay. So this is just Cricut regular sticky vinyl. Okay, it's not heat transfer. So I can literally stick my stripes right over both sides without any stress of heat. Okay, that's, I really love using this Cricut Vinyl for this purpose. So I don't want my stripes ginormous, but I don't want them super, super tiny either. So I just use this cutting tool. This is actually perfect. For this size koozie, it's absolutely perfect. So I just reline it right back up to where I had it so that both sides are the same size. size. And there we go. It's literally that quick, that simple. And now we have both of our stripes. And I'm gonna cut them down. 
but look at how awesome that's gonna look. Obviously lined up perfectly all the way down the edge. But I wanna make sure this is nice and dry and I don't have any air pockets before I place this, the stripes. So I'll be right back and we'll resume. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry and I will be back to wrap them up with their decals. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know I went ahead and jumped the gun and got this one um, epoxied, one coat, one thin coat, because I went ahead and applied her decal. I just applied her name after a soft sand today. So it is ready for another decal, or I'm sorry, uh, ready for another coat of epoxy with the glitter uh, from Glitter Sister, the Purple Rain. And then this cup, this koozie is essentially complete. Then there's this one we were also working on together. I went ahead and got her name at the bottom of hers also. And this is going to be her Jeep name per request to go on this koozie as well. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this together. Just gonna pull off the back. Perfect. Okay, so let's see exactly how we want this to go. I think I'm just gonna center it I think that would look the best. And because there's a groove, we're just gonna wanna follow this right on down. Just like that. And then we can pull back. And there you have it. Oh, yeller. Beautiful. Now these were, are both gonna need another coat of epoxy and then they are completed. So that's basically how I do my water slides and on 14 ounce koozies. I'll have a final photograph for you guys to see them. I do hope that you appreciated the video and if you did, please like and subscribe and check out new and upcoming fun tutorials that we're gonna be doing.